proud that the brothers on the rise now. Endless celebrations all in my house. Yeah. Levitating now, I'm super duper fly now. Yeah. London boy, but they see where I reside now. Put the time in while you always yelling time out. Yeah. And quit it, cause I know I'm coming with it. You were sitting, you were wishing I was handling my business. Yeah. Now I got the ball like Harry Potter playing Quidditch. And my business is humongous, you were thinking that happens in there. Damn man, I'm all bad, yeah, I'm all bad. I'm all Working bad. for that whip, yeah, that what you call. Stats, yo. Woo. Everybody wanna do the same thing. Yup. That's why we ain't on the same page. Yo. Do my own thing and I maintain. Woo. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. I'm going mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. Yeah, I'm going mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. I'm going mainstream. Mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. Khan. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of the top 10 anime with overpowered, cool, and badass melee. 
the three main key things that everyone would love to see within a main character is right here within this list. It's brand new shows, of course, brand new anime that you hopefully haven't watched yet, fingers crossed. But if you did already, then good for you. But yeah, three main key things within a male lead that everyone would love to see of him to be overpowered, for him to be cool, and for him to be a badass. So of course, in first place comes UQ holder Maho Sensei Nejima 2. This series, oh, it's honestly one of my personal favorites this season. It's currently airing, it's still new, and the main character, his name is Tota. After drinking Yukihime's blood, like because Yukihime is the is the uh, is the blonde girl. After drinking her blood, when she was dying right in front of him, from you know intense, the amount of the amount oh. Just remembering that scene, yeah, it was it was honestly like terrifying. But she was dying right in front of him, and after drinking her blood, he just licked it with his tongue. He just licked it. He became immortal. The amount of power, the amount of energy that has been unleashed inside of him, oh, it is unreal. He became insanely overpowered, and he got accepted into the uh, UQ Holder Immortal Squad, and he got number seven. So yeah, it's just an awesome series that you guys should get to if you haven't yet. It's Harem as well, it's a Harem series. And if you guys don't know yet, I do have my very own Discord server, so all of you are invited. And if you do want to join, link is in the description below. It's a place where you can hang out with other people, chat with other members, chat with me as well. Just have fun, play games, and you know, just have a good time overall. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm doing very well with my life, you know, university work and all this stuff, but I managed to get through it, and of course, I'm going to try my best to do a daily upload. If not, then the next day, if I can do it uh, uh, daily. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of the top 10 anime where the, uh, with the male lead it was overpowered, it was cool, it was badass. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any um, other suggestions for a top 10 list, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll definitely do give you a shout out if your ID gets chosen. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Adios! <laughs>